let's go it up annyeonghaseya this is tanya kim and welcome to my vlog continue to watch this video and i promise you to keep you entertained so for today's video so i'm gonna be doing a, um a my opinion or my thoughts i mean um kung ano lang ginagawa ko so yun i'm gonna make a tutorial kung paano gumawa ng um simple poem Pero it has an emotional message. So, I hope you like it. And let's go to the video. Hey! So, syempre, you need a tom pencil. Kung, well, kung sanay naman na kayo gumawa ng poem, you need ball pen. So, so, I have this notebook. So, in writing a poem, you need to have um, emotions. Kasi hindi mo ma... Hindi mo siya mag- hindi mo gagawin isang poem kung hindi mo lalagyan ng emotions. Or kailangan express mo yung sarili mo, express mo yung gusto mong sabihin dun sa poem na gagawin mo. It's all about it's all about emotion and experience based on yourself. So ako, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make um poem about my family. But there there's two types of poem. Yung yung free po yung free basta kalimutan ko pa basta free word is wala siyang rhyme so yung isa may rhyme so yun yung dalawang klase ng poem so isa pwede mong kahit ano basta magkakatunog yun i mean yung poem na yun is basta um basta free wala nang wala nang ano tugmaan ganun so, the second um, type ng poem is you need to have rhyme. So, I'm gonna be doing two types. Two, two types. It's about family. Yun yung gagawin ko sa bro. Sa free. Tapos, yun dun sa my rhythm is about my personal experience. So, yun la Ang unang advice ko sa is you need to give it emotions. Lahat talaga. Uh, what I said earlier, you need to give it emotions because hindi mo mababuo ang isang poem pag hindi mo nilagyan ng emotions. So, I'm gonna try. So, I'm gonna write. Um, hindi naman personal experience pero dedicated to sa mga tao na na hate sa parents nila ganun. So, here we go. I love my I love my family more than me. More than anybody in this world I see. God gave me them so I should keep them while I could. Enjoy every moment until I could. Because not now but soon they will be gone and you will be left, left alone soon. So, yun. Parang ang pinapahiwating ng aking poem is you love your family, yes. Love, love, love them more than you could. More than you should. Um, love them until until they um, basta mahal nyo sila hanggang sa makakaya nyo kasi not now but soon may iwan ka na ng isa kasi God God gave them to you, but God will take it from you. And I'm not saying that God will take it, pero I um, meron talagang times na kukuni siya ni God kasi they need to rest na. So, yun. Basta pang pinaka point ng aking poem is love your, your, love your family until the last breath. Make them proud, make them happy. And be um be positive na ay kuno ay naradoon mo di ko mahal parents mo but no they love you just the way you are they want you parang gusto lang, they want you to be disciplined yun 
yun yun, uh, lagi niyo i-tatak ano, sa utak, no? Kapag pinapagalitan kayo ng parents, no? Yes, don't be, um, parang, huwag kayo magtampo sa kanila, kasi, you know, you know naman na sa ikabubuti mo yun, para maging matino ka, so, love your family, because me, I love my family, so, next, I'm gonna be doing my rhyme, my rhyme na poem. super hard talaga gumawa ng poem if it comes to rhyming. So, ito medyo mahababa. So, I love you more than anyone else. It's hard to see you with somebody else. Yes, I cried day and night. I'll forget you soon I might. Cause I deserve better than you. And when I left you, I will just tell you. Thanks for the memories I do, but this is the last baby goodbye to you. So it the poem it means that even though you love him so much, but you need to left you need to move on in your life and soon, maybe soon, the perfect guy will came will came in your life and will be the one that deserves your love. So, yung poem kong to is based on my personality. I mean, personality. I mean, based on my experience that, um, oh, uh, mahal mo siya. Yes. Sasaktan ka pag may kasama siyang iba. Kaso tapos na eh. So, kailangan mo na mag-move on, ganun. So, kapag nakita mo na siya, Sabi mo na sa kanya, sinisinayang mo. Ganun lang. Kapag, kumari, bring up kayo, sabi yun, move on, for, accept and for, forgive, I accept and forgive lang talaga. Then, if you left, you left him alone eh, with, the, with that girl, just say, thank you for the memories. Parang, thank you ko sa kanya. Ay, thank you sa memories. Ha? Ganyan, ganyan. Pero, eto na yung huli. Parang, eto na yung, eto na yung araw na kakalimutan kita. Eto na yung araw na kakalimutan ko na lahat ng mga pinagkagawa mo. Memories natin dalawa, ganun. So, yeah. I hope you like my video for today. Sorry kung boring kasi wala talaga kung maisip na content. And, yes. Just keep on watching for my vlogs. Um, tomorrow, siguro mag-vlog na lang kami. Um, mag-practice ang 21 ko. So, yeah. I will just see you tomorrow. And this is the end of my vlog. Again, let's go it up. Ano, see ya. This is Tanakim, signing out. Eight.